Hey guys, I have a fun project for us today. Another card. Um, this is what the card will look like when it's finished. It says, friends are kind to each other's hopes and cherish each other's dreams. It's really pretty there inside. So I'll show you the finished product so we can see what we're going to get. So the first thing we're going to start with, we're going to stamp a little piece of Whisper White with our saying. It's going to be, this is a one by two, one by two piece of Whisper White. And we're going to stamp with basic black. I'm not going to open that yet, though. I'm going to get our little stamp out first. Um, I am using in colors for this again. I really love the 2016, 2018 in colors, so you'll see me using them a lot. And our stamp set that we are using is Garden and Bloom. So I used this the other day for one of my uh, projects I showed you for the little candies. Um, but I really like it because it's a two-step stamp. It's a really fun one. So where did my block go? There's my block. Okay. So, I'm going to do our saying first. Okay, I'm going to stamp with basic black. So, I just ink that up really well. And center it over my little, little block right there. Okay, I like to really push down make sure you don't miss the saying. And sometimes you have to pull it up and peel it off. And I stamped a little bit crooked, but that's okay. It still looks cool. Okay, we're done with basic black. I'm going to close that up and really quickly clean my stamp pad. If you guys don't have a Stampin' Scrubber, I would highly recommend it. Um, it's easier. It's easier than washing it underwater. Um, and the basic black, since it's archival, sometimes it stains the stamps but it won't bleed over onto your other projects. It'll just be stained onto the stamp. Okay. So now, I'm going to do another stamp. I'm going to just set this aside till I'm ready for it. That's already stamped. So now we're going to work with this big flower right here. I am doing some two-step stamping again. You guys know I really like two-step stamping. So this is our bottom layer. Okay, so I'm just going to put this on here and get it ready to go. And our background color is Flirty Flamingo, which is also what I used the other day. Um, Flirty Flamingo and Dapper Denim are what I'm using. And these are the same colors that I used, or I'm using in my first class that I'm doing this month. So if you really like these colors like I do, the best way to get them is going to be to do my class. Because you'll get them included in your class kit. Okay. So um, this is my Whisper White that is five, five by three and three quarters. Um, we're doing a double layer, so I did this one a little different than I usually do. Okay, we're gonna start. I like to offset my flowers a little, really ink up and just kind of do them back and forth, back and forth. I don't like it to be perfect. Sorry, <laughs> trying to decide where I want to put that one. Really to do that. Okay. So you can put as many or as few as you want. I like about five. I like, I'm weird. I like multiples of five. So I like doing five, ten, fifteen, twenty of things. It just makes me feel better. So I usually do about five flowers when I'm doing them. That's kind of weird, I know. Okay. So we're done with the flirty, fl flirty flamingo. So I close it off so our stamp pad is now clean. Or our stamp is now clean, I should say. I'll put that one back. And since we're doing two-step stamping, the next thing we need is this, this stamp right here. Okay, this is our top one. And we're going to be using the Dapper Denim Stamp Pad. So let me just line this up on here. And this is Block D from Stampin' Up. I'm not sure if I told you that yet. It's Block D. Came with my paper pumpkin, but it can be purchased separately. Okay, so dapper denim. Okay, so, and I told you before with double stamping, it doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it looks kind of straight, it's okay. It just adds a little bit to the homemade touch of it, the personal touch. Oh, yeah, see, I did that one really off. Did not do that one very well at all. Okay, that one looks better. <laughs> okay. 
So now the second step is done. I'm going to clean my stamp off while I let that dry for just a second. It should be dry, ready to go, but I let it sit for a second while I'm cleaning. Ooh, pardon me, I hit the tripod. Okay, our stamp is clean now, so I'm going to close dapper denim and hopefully not get any on my hands. Okay, and put my stamp away so I don't forget to put my stamp away. I'd hate to lose it. Okay, all right. So the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to set that one aside as well. We're going to work with our base color, which is Sweet Sangria. This has been cut, um, it's eight and a half by five and a half. So this is our base, so I'm going to fold it in half like we do, and then use my Stampin' Up! bone folder to set that fold. Okay, so that's my half. Sweet Sangria, it's from the 2016-2018 in colors. Okay, I got some ink on my thumb, it looks like. All right, oh well. Okay, so this is from the 2016-2018 designer series in colors, or um, paper stack, designer paper stack. I have cut this one to be five and a quarter by four, so it's going to stack up right here. Okay, so that's going to be what goes right there. So let me get my adhesive. Do do do. Adhesive right here. And I think that was not straight. Sometimes I have trouble keeping my hands straight. Yep, it went on the outside. So. Because I messed up, I'm just going to fold this edge over of the, yeah. So this off-brand stuff, it sometimes goes wide, but I can just fold it back over the edge so you can't see it. So I'm going to put that on here. Turn it up. Okay, next thing I'm going to work with is some of our Stampin' Up! Baker's Twine. This is Tangerine Tango Baker's Twine. Um, it is in our, it's in our clearance section right now, so it's still available for purchase if you like it, um, but it won't be available in the next catalog. So now I'm going to do what my sister calls the cheater method. So um, we're going to wrap this around here, but we're going to start with a piece of tape right here. Let's tape this down. The tape is the cheater method. Okay, it's faster and it works. Okay, so I'm going to wrap the twine around three times, and then I'm going to cut it. There's my number three, and then I'm going to cut it so I can tape this side. There's my cut. Make sure I keep that straight, and I'm going to hold it down so I can tape it. Okay, this adds a little fun dimension. You can kind of slide the twine around to look how you want. I just kind of like doing a little, three little lines. Okay, now we need to attach this to here. So because I have the twine in the middle, I'm just going to do the adhesive on the top and the bottom of this piece of cardstock, top and bottom. And this piece of Whisper Wild I said is five by by three and three quarters, so it can fit inside this other one, <laughs> height and width wise. Okay. So now we have this. That's where we are so far. Okay. So I have another piece of our designer series cardstock, or uh, designer series paper. It's not cardstock, it's just paper. And this is one and a quarter by two and a quarter. And this is going to actually go on top of it. Oops. Help if I took the lid off that. We are almost done with our card, you guys. I mean, this is a quick, quick card. All right, so that's attached. Oh, how did I do that? I don't know. Okay. All right, next we're going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals. I haven't used these before for you guys. Um, these just are going to make it pop. They're a little bit thick, so it gives a little bit of height. So I'm going to use four of them. So it'll go around the baker's twine on the card, the placement. Okay. I'm going to go one, two, 
three, four. Now we have to peel off the backing paper, which I'm not very good at usually. <laughs> I struggle a little. Okay. And now we're just going to line this up on our card over the baker's twine, kind of where we want it to be. And our card is done. See how fun that was? How cool and easy it was? Alright, so just a reminder, my class, um, I'm going to be taking pre-orders for about another week. Um, June 30th is the cutoff day for my orders, for my pre-orders, so I can order the product and get you the video. Um, it will be using these two stamp colors that I told you. Flirty Flamingo and Dapper Denim. So if you really like them like I do, you can get them in the kit. And since this is my first class, I will be including a copy of the 2016-2017 catalog. Um, that's a $5 value. So that's just an extra for you, a little freebie. If you have any questions, please let me know. As always, thanks for watching the Jam and Stamper. Bye!